we were looking at ways of how we could um, work outside of our team and start to bring in outside consultants and starting to run scenarios of how we could do that. So we um, had approached Graphisoft about some of the ideas and the alignment of the stars and how they started to look at things. I'm sure it was already in the works. And they came out with BIM Server 2, which we were allowed to help beta test. And during those processes, we were to, um, we found out that we could bring in outside consultants. We asked, um, we went ahead and did that, brought in mechanical engineers, electrical engineers. Um, we brought in other parties to start testing how we could work in a team environment. Um, we found that we could, and we could do that because of our systems of how we set our company up, which was we model for data extraction. We found that we were no longer exchanging paper. And not only that, we, the speed up of our work, the constructability and the conflict issues were going away. And with the use of the instant messaging within the systems and additionally adding Skype, we were now working with team members that were not part of our internal team. And it started to really melt a lot of the barrier walls that are usually in the process that stop uh, the creativity and how to best build the building. The participants in this project are a large development company who have never produced anything in senior housing because there are no senior housing projects in Costa Rica. We have also working with NAI Capital of Costa Rica for the land acquisition. Um, we will be working with one of the most premier operators of senior housing who happen to want to work in Costa Rica but need to be set up with a, a correct partner down there. The architect uh, will be a local architect for the construction model and the design model or the design modeling will be done by um, IPA, which is a firm that I represent. And I'm acting in the, my role in this as kind of a pseudo developer, pseudo person who's you know, assembling kind of the team. And I also will be providing from through IPDA, the integration and collaboration on an international basis. For all the, um, for the architect engineers, the general contractor, the developers, um, the two different architectural teams to be working in the same model at the same time and exchanging not just the model content, but also working in different languages and different units of measurements. The international team would be that the, um, design, archit the design architects of the model will be um, Irwin Partners architects that are Costa Mesa based. The engineers will probably be from Texas and the local architect will be in San Jose, Costa Rica. The developer will be uh, a local development company in San Jose. A senior housing operating facilitator out of Minnesota. And um, the general contractor will probably be from Panama. Knowing that uh, this project is going to be an international project, we looked at what's the best way of having everybody be able to work together. And um, IPDA was contacted to say, how can we integrate and collaborate together on this project internationally? And the best tool for that is the exact tool that we use, which is the Graphisoft's BIM server in, and through uh, other outside software such as Skype and such, work together. During this economic times that we're, we're in, we're having to become more, we have to become more competitive in how we work. We have to look at how we work and see how we can improve those, syst those systems. And the best ways of being able to come together in different alliances and different um, um, partnerships that we didn't think about before. Working in BSBIM is allowing us now to um, basically work worldwide in the same model uh, with the same information. So I do know, I no longer need to have an office with 15 employees. I can have an office and uh, virtually worldwide with associations together, work on teams as I are specifically needed for that team. And people can work basically around the clock on your project. The object-based Delta server is unbelievable.
That is the biggest innovation, I think, in um, at least in the last 15 years. I'm still part of how a building will be constructed and built, but I'm doing it now in a way that is acting as a consultant to the team. So people are working together as one as opposed to individual silos. And gra uh, the, the Grafsoft BIM server allows that to happen. Um, so I do have find that this is one of the most exciting times uh, that I have ever been, uh, that I've ever known as an architect to be in because it really is truly watching a, a, a revolution, an evolution of the building industry. And to be part of it is, is really kind of fantastic.